It's great to see everybody here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are all very, very welcome. It's, yeah, it's really good. My name's Alice Gallimore, and this is South Street Baptist Church, Greenwich, London. And welcome to our Christmas service. Fantastic. Special welcome for those. I can see some faces I haven't seen before. So God bless you if you're here um, for the first time or if um, you've come and I haven't been there, then God bless you to online family. Anybody joining us for the first time, you are also very welcome. And regulars here, God bless you as well. So uh, Pastor Gideon and the Nash family all send their love and regards. They are having a well-earned break, but they send their greetings and their love to each and every one of you. And I want to honour Pastor Gideon and thank him for this amazing privilege to share the Christmas message with you today. So my title is A Christmas List. A Christmas List. Um, are some of you people who makes lists? Who makes lists here? Some people, a few of us, okay, fantastic. At Christmas, some of us can be very busy, right? So some of us make lists to remember things. You know, people have a present list, yeah, a food shopping list, a Christmas card list, yeah, list of things we want to do over the holiday period, yeah, okay. So I'm someone who makes lists. Um, so for, those, this, for this Christmas message, I thought I'd put together a list. So there's some useful things to remember and to do. And my goal is for you to understand and remember some spiritual truths as you celebrate Christmas this year. Okay? So you may be planning to go big with your celebrations this year. Lots of parties, gift buying, eating, giving, um, meeting up with people. Or you may be planning a very, very quiet Christmas. Or something in between, maybe. Or maybe you're someone... Who's doing, I'm not doing Christmas this year. I've heard that. Have you heard that? So you may be really looking forward to Christmas or it may be approaching with some dread. Whatever your plans are, whether many or none, whatever situation you find yourself in this Christmas time, I have a Christmas list for you for some spiritual truths to remember. Okay. You'll be pleased to know it's not a really long list. It's not like my Christmas food shopping list. It's shorter than that. Okay. <laughs> so, number one, this Christmas, remember, Christ has come. Christ has come. I want to turn you to turn to somebody and say, Christ has come. Okay, so... We've got some scriptures to back that up. Luke 2 verses 10 to 11 says this, But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all people. Today in the town of David, a saviour has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. John 1 verse 14. Could I just, by the way, could I have the timer up, please? Thank you. John 1 verse 14, the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only son who came from the father, full of grace and truth. And one more, Isaiah 9 verse 6, for to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. So the truth is here. Christ has come. God's only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, became one of us to save mankind or humankind. When he rose from the dead, he defeated sin, death and Satan. For by his death, he paid his price for our sins. So this Christmas, let us remember God sent Jesus to reconcile us to himself. Christ has come. But I want you to notice something about the verses like we, I, we looked at. They don't focus on the baby, but who Jesus is today, his mandate and his purpose. And I was thinking when we celebrate birthdays, and there's been in our family, there's lots in December. So we've done lots of celebrating birthdays. Um, you don't always like talk about the birth very much, do you? Like, especially if it's a grown-up, you don't talk about the birth. You focus on, you celebrate them and who they are and what they mean to you, yeah? 
So when we remember Jesus Christ has come Christmas, I invite you, don't just remember the birth of a baby. I invite you this Christmas to remember or maybe get to know for the first time the Jesus who existed from the beginning of time came on earth as a baby, absolutely, but he grew up. He went around on earth doing supernatural signs, wonders and miracles and willingly then allowed himself to be crucified and died on the cross to take on the sins of the world, defeated death, rose again and will be coming back. And also this Christmas, we're not just remembering a good historical figure who had an unusual birth, but a living and present God. This is one of my favorite verses, so I'm going to share it with you. Revelation 1 verse 18 in the New King James Version, it says this, I am he who lives, was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. So when we think about Christ this Christmas... We're not thinking about a weak, vulnerable child or a good historical figure, but thinking a powerful God of love who is willing to humble himself and come as a baby into this world. That's all of God coming in as a baby. And Philippians 2 verse 6 to 11 puts it this way. It's talking about Jesus and it says this, who being in the very nature God did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. But rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. And he found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and become obedient to death, even death on a cross. So, whenever you hear the word Christmas this year, and there's lots of it, Merry Christmas, Happy Christmas, Christmas season, remember Christ has come. So every time you hear Christmas, remember Christ has come. Okay, so number two, things, spiritual truths to remember this Christmas. Hallelujah. Number two is remember light has come. I want you to turn to somebody and say, light has come. Okay, so Jesus coming to the earth as a man is described in Isaiah 9 as there is a great light. Isaiah 9 verse 2 says, The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. Okay, so this is one of the verses that is read at Christmas time. It's a prophecy about Jesus, um, and it's written hundreds of years before he came. And as a child, I can remember, my mother used to listen to um, carols on the radio. Um, I'm showing my age now. And there was always a very posh voice saying this verse. He was, the people walking in darkness. Really posh voice. So I don't know if you've got, if, you, if you're old, the old as me and you have that. Um, but yeah, this is that verse. So, and it goes on to say, it talks about Jesus being a great light. And then it says, verse 6, chapter Isaiah 9, verse 6, For unto us a child is born, and to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called, Sharon's already quoted this verse today, Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Almighty, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. So we can see in these verses, the light of God comes to reveal who Jesus is. So he reveals his authority, the government shall be on his shoulders, and he reveals his nature, who he is. He shall be wonderful, counsellor, mighty God, everlasting father, prince of peace. So at Christmas, light has come. So we will not only know that Christ has come, but we'll also know what it can mean for us, okay? Because it's all very well to say, oh yeah, Christmas is about Jesus, but we need to know what it means, yeah? You with me? Still there? Yeah? Okay. So, John 1 verse 9 says, the true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. They're talking about Jesus. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. Okay. And the Amplified Version says, There it was, 
the true light, the genuine, perfect, steadfast light which comes into the world, enlightens everyone. So this Christmas, the great light, Jesus, comes to reveal God to you. This message is for you. So that you might see him and know him and experience his goodness in your life. So you may be full of doubts today. You may be even of a different faith or a religion. No, you may be no faith or you may be full of faith. But the light of Christ is for you. So you can start to understand who Jesus is and why Christ has come is such a big deal. And you can get to know him deeper. So whatever your age, whatever your gender, whatever your culture, whatever your religion, the Word of God says, Jesus came to give you light. Amen? So, remember, today, light has come so you can know God. Remember, his name was Wonderful. You can know him as the one who makes you full of wonder at how amazing he is. You can experience the wonderful things of God because his name is wonderful. Remember, if you want that, think, yes, I want that. Remember, light has come so you can know God as your counsellor. We all need someone to guide us sometimes, don't we? He is the one who brings wisdom, guidance, comfort, support, and strength. We even see it in the events of the birth of Jesus. God guides Joseph. You know, it must have been pretty confusing for Joseph. Yeah, his person, person he was a betrothed to be married to suddenly gets pregnant and she says it's from the Holy Spirit. That's pretty confusing. But God guides him through prophetic dreams. God shows, tells him what to do. And even, you know, God, they, he tells him again, have another prophetic dream once Jesus is born so he knows to flee so that they keep, so that they keep safe. So... The light has come so you can know God as your counsellor, the one who guides you, the one maybe you need comfort today, the one who comforts you, the one who supports you, the one who strengthens you. So light has come so you can know God as the mighty God, the one who fights for you, the name above all names, the almighty God, the Lord of any situation. And you get a glimpse of this with the shepherds. You know, they're just going about doing their business. And then they get a glimpse of the whole glory of God. Um, this, this, the, the angels fill the, fill the air, uh, fill the sky. And, the, and, the, and the, it says the glory of God comes. The glory of God comes. And the whole sky is filled with an angelic host. Like, you know, it's difficult. We're kind of very familiar with the Christmas story. But you can imagine that. Close your eyes and think what it would be like suddenly. You're sitting there and it's dark. And then there's a massive, masses of angels. And they're not like little girls with um, tinsel on. They're like powerful supernatural beings, right? So it feels so, it's scary and amazing all at the same time, right? So that's the Lord Almighty, right? So light has come that you might know him as your everlasting father, the eternal one, the one who fathers you. Whatever your own experience of a human father, this is the almighty father, uh, who's a good good father. So the light has come so you may know him as your prince of peace. God's peace will restore anything broken and remove all chaos from your life. Through Jesus, you can carry supernatural peace in your heart today. Philippians 4 verse 7, the peace of God that transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. So this Christmas, light has come. And I want to encourage you to look for that light, to look for more understanding of God. Ask God to show me, show you. Maybe you can be like the wise men. They didn't really know what they were looking for, or I don't think they did. Um, They see a star and they know maybe that means a king. But they had a glimpse of something, so they set off on a journey to discover more. So today I want to encourage you, if you're far from God today, be determined to seek God. 
Maybe you even grew up in church, but you've been away from God, away for a long time. Well, however, or maybe you just you just never really known, or you just feel it thinking, I just feel really far from God today. So be determined to seek Jesus. Find the start the journey to find who He is and come and worship Him, because Jesus is the one that overcomes darkness. The one who loves you and the one who comes to give you light. Amen. So, every time you see Christmas illuminations, so the lights around your house, or around homes, shopping centres, wherever you see Christmas lights, remember, light has come. Is that good? So, that was number two. Number three. Number three. Spiritual truths to remember this Christmas. We have Christ has come, number one. Number two. Light has come. Number three, God is with us. Say to someone, God is with us. Hallelujah. So we remember Jesus is called Emmanuel, which means God is with us. And the verse here is Matthew 1 verse 26. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. So whilst part of the world celebrates Christmas, other parts, even including the birthplace of Jesus, people this year are experiencing severe difficulties. Jesus was born into a world like ours, where pain and difficulty and chaos exists. We learn in the descriptions in Luke and Matthew from our history as well, Jesus came into a time of occupation, oppression, struggle and danger not dissimilar from what some parts of the world are experiencing today. And for Jesus' family, it was a bit of a time of struggle. There was no place to stay. They were isolated from extended family. They were misunderstood. They were exhausted. There was danger. They had to flee as refugees. So I'm guessing maybe things were not how Joseph and Mary would have wanted them to be or had dreamed they would be, yeah? Yeah? But we see in the accounts, the accounts of, the, um, of, uh, of the events of Christmas, and, and you can find them, by the way, in Luke chapters 1 and 2 and Matthew chapters 1 and 2. We see in those accounts that God is with them. God comes and moves in an unusual, what might be called a supernatural way. So the angels visit. Um, they get prophetic dreams, as I mentioned before. They get encouragement. Shepherds come and visit them, telling them all about their experience. They get provision. Wise men come and give them gifts, which then finances them being able to flee when they need to flee. So this Christmas, let's remember God is with us. God comes into our world to bring peace and hope. This is the good news we can celebrate, yeah? God is with us. God comes And there is great celebration. Remember, in Luke 2, the sky is filled with the angelic host. And this is what that angel says. Do not be afraid. I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. All people. Again, God is an inclusive God, isn't he? All people. That's that's you. You're, You're in all people, okay? So, and then... They also, the the angels sing this. They say, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. So whatever your circumstances this Christmas, I've got good news for you. God is here with peace and goodwill towards you. Sometimes we can think we have a wrong image of God. We can think, you ever be misunderstood? And you think, well, I'm not really like that. You know, somebody said something about you and you think, well, I'm not like that. They don't know me. Well, sometimes God's like that. We can misunderstand what God's like. So God is a good God. He's here with peace and goodwill towards you. So if you are someone that whilst most of us are celebrating and having a good time this Christmas, maybe you're struggling for whatever reason. It may be you have, it's your first Christmas without a loved one. It may be that you're just mentally not in a great place. Or maybe you're under having a difficult circumstance or an illness. I invite you to remember our God is a God who understands difficult times. 
Bring your fears, your hurt and pain, confusion, difficult circumstances before God this Christmas. Know God is with you and God is good and he can meet your needs. Amen. So, whether you're on your own or with loads of family, amidst crowd shopping or at a party, meeting with friends, catching up virtually, eating lots of delicious food, sitting chilly, chilling in front of the telly, this Christmas, whatever you're doing, remember, Emmanuel, God is with us. Okay, so you guys still with me? We've had our three spiritual truths. First one, Christ has come. Second one, light has come. Third one, God is with us. Okay, so my second part of the same list is, what do we do now? We've got these three spiritual truths. How does this affect our Christmas period? So number one, I want to invite you to meet Jesus. To meet Jesus, to get to know him more. So if we declare Christ has come, but do you know him? So ask for revelation of who Jesus is this Christmas. And if you don't yet know him, you can give your life to him and receive him and become a child of God. John 1 verse 12 to 14 says this, Yet to all who did receive him, we're talking about Jesus here, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children not born of human descent, nor of human decision, or a husband's will, but born of God. And that, that's, yeah, that's 12 and 13. And then verse 14 says, The word became flesh and dwelt among us. We've heard, read this already. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. So this Christmas, I invite you to experience God as the God who is full of grace and truth through relationship with his Son. You are loved, you are seen by God, you are known by God. Remember, for God's expressed his love for the world, and you're included in the world, this way he gave his only son so that whoever believes in him will not face everlasting destruction, but will have everlasting life. So when we meet with Jesus, we can become a child of God. And as we meet with him, I want, to, I want to invite you, the ways to meet him, come before him in prayer. We get to know somebody by talking to them, don't we? Like, if you never talk to somebody, you're never really going to know them, are you? Um, so, um, we need to get to, we t and the way we talk to God is through prayer. So, come before him in prayer. Read the Bible, that's the word of God. Jesus shows us who he is when we read the books of the Bible. And in particular, you can start with the Gospels, which are the first four books in the New Testament. It's a good place to start. And um, the first few chapters of those start talking about Jesus. So, um, yeah, this Christmas, our daily devotionals, there's a bit of a pause. So I want to invite you this Christmas to start reading maybe the first few chapters of one of those Gospels, of Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. And you can start to get to know Jesus more. And what I want you to do is when you read it, is to say, Lord, show me more of you. Show me more of you. So even if you're someone who like has, has heard these words loads and loads of time, you will get fresh revelation, yeah? Okay. And if it's new to you, Lord, just say, because um, when you read the Word of God, it's, it's different to another book. It's like a supernatural thing. So God can show you things about, about real things that are happening. So that is meet with Jesus. And I want to encourage you, if you do over this Christmas period, meet with Jesus and renew your relationship with him. Then if you haven't already, do sign up to our discipleship pathway that's starting in January and that will help you continue your journey with God. Amen? So, meet with Jesus was our first thing to do. Our second thing to do is celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Okay? So, at the first Christmas, there was much celebrating and worshipping God. Yeah? So, um, even before Jesus was born... 
Mary is praising God, yeah? Luke 1 verse 46 says this, My soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. My soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. Now, in the church I used to go to as a child, we used to sing this, but I'm not going to sing it because my voice, I'm not blessed with a voice that will bless you. (laughs) I can bless God with my voice, but I'm not going to bless you with my voice today. (laughs) So, but my soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices. So we are encouraged to worship God. Um, Yeah, and there's lots of worshipping. You know, the, the shepherds worship God. The wise men worship God. The angels worship God. So this Christmas, let's be intentional about worshipping God and thanking him. You know, you can use whatever style of words or song that you that works for you, okay? You don't have to you don't have to sing traditional carols if that it doesn't make sense to you. There's loads of different Christmas worship music out there. Um, so use worship music. Um, speak to God, thank him, spend time thanking God for the gift of Jesus this Christmas. Intentionally celebrate him. So during this holiday season, you may be kind of out of your normal routine, but I want to encourage you, as part of worshipping Jesus, put time aside to pray and worship him every day. So it may be that you normally have a routine of getting up at a particular time or going to your, in this church we call it our there place, the place where we meet with God. And it may be that you're not in your usual there place, but, you know, find a temporary there place, okay? And, and, and spend time worship God and weave worship into your day. Even when you're traveling, have some worship music on. When you're cooking, have some worship music on. Whatever you're doing, listen. Listen to worship music. Um, Spend time praying. You know, even pray before your Christmas dinner. Amen? Have a go. So that's a challenge. So that's number three, celebrate Jesus. Number one, meet Jesus. Number two, celebrate Jesus. And number three is... Stay open to God. Stay open to God this Christmas period. Know God is with you. Keep Christ in Christmas. Take time to listen to him. Ask him to move in an unusual, a supernatural way, just like he did in that first Christmas with Jesus and Joseph and Mary and and the different characters Take time. Ask him to move in a supernatural way. Talk to him in prayer and be bold to pray and expect a miracle in your life. If God is the God that can come down on earth and and when he was on earth, he did healings and then he rose from the dead. He died and he rose from the dead. um, Why can't he do a miracle for you? Yeah. So be open to what God will do. Christ has come. Light has come. God is with you. God is here. Amen. So God richly bless you this Christmas. So we're going to pray. Hallelujah. Can I have the musicians up? Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, that you're the best gift. Father God, Father God, you gave us the best gift. Hallelujah. The Lord Jesus Christ, having Lord Lord Jesus Christ as our Lord and Saviour is the best gift we could ever have. Romans 6 verse 23 says, The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. In Christ Jesus, our Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember, God expressed his love for you this way. He gave his only son. So if you believe in him, you will not face everlasting destruction, but you will have everlasting life. Hallelujah. There's this amazing promise in Romans 10 verse 9. It says, if you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just let's just, while we're, while we're praying, hallelujah. If you want to receive the gift of eternal life and actually meet Jesus 
Maybe you've never acknowledged Jesus Christ as the Son of God who died and suffered for your sins at the cross. You can do it right now. Or if you want, this is a time to come back to God. If you want to recommit your life to Jesus, you can do it right now. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Just keep your eyes closed. Hallelujah, Lord. The Spirit of God. Spirit of God flow. Spirit of God flow over online family. Spirit of God flow in this building. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. God is calling some of us to meet Jesus today. God is calling some of us to go deeper with Jesus today. He's a God who loves to restore relationship. He loves relationship. He wants to restore your relationship with him today. Hallelujah. And right now, God is speaking to you. God is speaking to you just in your mind. You don't, you don't hear an audible voice, but God is speaking to you in your mind. Hallelujah. And if God is, if you're being prompted right now to give your life to Jesus, if you think, yeah, no, I need to do that. I need to be with Jesus. I don't know Jesus. Or if you're being prompted to recommit your life to Jesus. I just would like you to just raise your hand as a sign. Just raise your hand up as a sign to say, yes, that's me. Say, yes, that's me. I'm not going to embarrass you. I'm not, even if if you're online, uh, if you're online family, raise your hand. Raise your hand. Hallelujah. God bless you. I can see it. God bless you. God bless you. I can see it. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. You're just saying to God, you're just saying to God, yes, I want to meet you. I want to meet you. I want to know you again. I want to be restored. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And everyone, please join me in repeating the following prayer of repentance out loud so we can just get ourselves right with God. Heavenly Father, I recognize I'm a sinner. And my sin separates me from you. Right now, of my own free will, I repent from all my sins and confess Jesus as my Lord and Saviour. I believe that Jesus died for my sins. I believe with all my heart that God the Father raised him from the dead. Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart and change my life. And the day I die, when I open my arms, I will be my eyes, sorry, when I open my eyes, I will be in your arms. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I want to invite everyone to stand. We're going to just move into a time of activation. Hallelujah. We want to welcome Christ into your Christmas. I invite you to welcome Christ into your Christmas this year. To know Him. To get fresh revelation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Maybe far off and you're starting to seek Him. Just, I don't know you, Lord, yet. I'm not ready to give my life, but I want to like the wise men. I want to just start to get to know you. Or maybe you just want to be closer and closer. You want to realign your view of who Jesus is and restore relationship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Father God. You want him to increase your desire to worship you, to celebrate you this Christmas. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Yes, 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 Lord. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Lord, I pray. I pray for your people. I pray for a fresh revelation. I pray for a fresh revelation. I pray for a fresh revelation that they will know the reality of you, Jesus Christ. 
I will know the reality of you, one, the, the, the one who is wonderful. They will know the reality of you, the wonderful God, the wonderful God in their life today. They will know you. They will know you as wonderful. They will know you as wonderful. They will know you as wonderful. You as wonderful. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Just as you worship, just know and receive God is pouring His Holy Spirit upon you for you to know Him as the wonderful God, for you to know Him as a wonderful God, for you to know Him as the counselor, for know the one who will guide you, the one who will support you, for you to know Him as the mighty God, the one who is mighty to deal with your situation today. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Father God, Father God, Father God, hallelujah, Lord. I pray for revelation, revelation of you, Lord, as everlasting Father. Hallelujah, Lord. Yes, Lord, everlasting Father. That is who you are. 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 A real life living God. That is who you are. That is who you are. That is who you are. A Prince of Peace. The Prince of Peace. Let the Prince of Peace rest in your heart today. The Prince of Peace. You're anxious. Where you're anxious today, let the Prince of Peace come in. Let the Prince of Peace come in. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Invite him to come right now. Invite him to come right now. It's Christmas time. Invite him into your heart and mind. Invite him into your heart and mind. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Bring your light. Bring your light. I break the veil, I break, I break, I break the power of the enemy that veil that brings a veil that stops us from seeing it. And I declare the light of God to come. The light of God has come. The light of God has come. The light of God has come. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. That we will know you as wonderful. That we will know you as counselor. That we will know you as mighty God. That we will know you as everlasting Father. You are Lord, you are Lord, you are Lord, you are Lord, hallelujah Lord, hallelujah Lord, thank you Jesus, thank you Lord, thank you Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord, yes Lord. some time continuing to worship God and continuing to sing this song but I just want if you have a need today you've come to church and you have a need today we have a prayer team who'd be happy to just pray with you it could be any need it may be that you need direction it may be that you're you you're ill or it may be that you, you want to pray for somebody that's on your heart whatever you know whatever it is um, somebody will be happy to pray with you and if that's the case just while everybody's worshiping just come over here and there'll be people a team of people trained who will just be happy to pray with you um, in the meantime let's just worship our God thank you
receive, receive. Alice was sharing and saying, Jesus has come. Jesus has come. Jesus has come. What are you going to do about it? Receive him. Receive him. Open your heart. Open your heart. When he comes in, he comes in with plenty. He brings peace. He restores that which the enemy has taken away from you. He restores so, you, so that you have new life. So that you have a new beginning. So keep worshiping him. Keep worshiping him. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, the angels. The angels praise the glorify glory. Glory to the holy name. Glory to the holy name. Glory to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 As the heavens open up, receive, receive, receive your peace right now. As the heavens open up to receive Jesus unto us, receive his peace today. Be restored today. Be restored today. Let your life be renewed so that you have a new beginning today. Because his name is Jesus. God with us. God who comes to dwell amongst us. God who comes to change every situation in your home so that you will never be the same again. His name is Jesus. That is the God that we worship today. That is the God we magnify this morning. Yes, the heavens roar and the angels sing. Oh glory, oh glory, oh glory, oh glory to our God who is our King. Glory be to his name. Glory be to his name. On that night, Jesus changed everything. Jesus changed everything so that you will not live that life, that life tormented by sin, that life of confusion. It is the end because Jesus has come so that your life will be new in the name of Jesus. His name is Emmanuel, God dwelling with us, in the flesh dwelling with us. He can relate with your confusion. He can relate with your pain. He can relate with where you are lost. He can relate with how far you have been from him. He can relate with you. His name is Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we continue to celebrate this, Jesus, I invite you to be in that place where you receive from him. Experience his peace. Experience his salvation. Experience his deliverance. He does not... He is not like man that he can tell you a lie. He tells you the truth and the word of God says he has come to deliver you. He has come to redeem you. Hallelujah. Receive from him this morning, this afternoon. You may take your seats. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.